The oxygen portion of the facial is going to not only oxygenate the skin, but it's also going to leave that instant brightened and firmed look to the skin as well. So with Circadia's oxygen, we have a really unique form of oxygen. We're actually creating oxygen in situ or in the skin. Uh, this is much different than a lot of the other oxygen options on the market. A lot of the times you'll have compressed air or even hydrogen peroxide, which is a completely different element that what we're than what we're using here. With this particular treatment, it does have to be very timed. So if you're doing it as many times as Denise has done <laughs> this treatment, which is probably thousands, um, she's got the timing down in her head. But for those who are newer to using the oxygen treatment, we highly suggest to have a timer with you to make sure you're timing each portion out completely. So you're going to add the powder into your bowl first and then you're gonna squeeze in your gel packet. You're gonna to start to slowly incorporate them together and then once they're fully incorporated, that's when you're gonna really get aggressive and whisk them around so you get a really nice kind of egg white consistency. Once you've mixed the mixture together, it's important that it goes immediately onto the skin. So when you apply the mixture to the skin, it's going to go on um, as quickly as possible. You don't have to be as precise as you would a chemical peel because you're just trying to get the full mixture on the skin and you're gonna start to manipulate it around um, later. Um, so when we're looking at this oxygen treatment, what you're getting is you're getting a powder that has magnesium peroxide and you're also getting our gel base, and that has a deionized water and a gel consistency. So when you mix the two together, it actually creates the perfect storm for oxygen to be produced. So we wanna make sure that we get this mixture on the skin, and then we're able to lightly massage it, and this portion stays on the skin for two minutes. You'll have enough in the, in the, um, the oxygen sachet or the gel sachet and the powder to do full face, neck, and decollete if you choose. So the sensation that your client should be feeling with this particular step is maybe just some light bubbling effervescence, a little bit of warmth that's coming to the surface of the skin, but this isn't the actual oxygen portion. So again, we're creating oxygen in situ or in the skin. So what we're doing is we're allowing for this particular mixture to absorb and to penetrate into deeper layers of the skin and all it's waiting for is an enzymatic catalyst that's going to immediately split that oxygen and water. So it's important to allow this to work in the skin for two minutes before we spray on the enzyme activator. So Caitlin, can you talk about why some clients might feel a little bit of numbness and tingling around the lips? Sure, so some of the times, especially after you activate the oxygen, we're using this as a vasoconstrictor. So this is designed to reduce visible redness around the area of the lips, which by the way, the lips and also the bottom of the feet are considered to have a parakeratotic skin type. So it actually won't ever, um, it always is continually regenerating. So it's a little bit more of a sensitive area. And so when we're reducing blood flow um, to those areas, it can kind of create a numbing effect, um, but it will clearly go away after just a couple of minutes after removal. It's also important to note that depending on when you're treating the skin, whether it's in the summer months versus the winter months where it's very dry, lots of heaters going, the sensation that you'll feel with this treatment is actually increased the more dehydrated your skin type is. So if you have somebody who comes in and they're relatively oily, they think, oh, it feels okay. They come in with the winter, or if they have, you have another client who comes in who is very chronically dehydrated, the sensation that they'll feel is going to be a little bit more intense. So once this has been applied and manipulated on the skin for two minutes, you're going to spray on the enzyme activator. So again, what's the mixture that's sitting on the skin here is not oxygen. It's not going to split oxygen and water until you spray on the enzyme activator. So you can notice that the product starts to actually bubble up and that's the oxygen splitting from the water. So now we're infusing this oxygen deeper into the skin and the reason for that is because our skin is set up in a brick and mortar fashion. The number one job of our skin is to keep bacteria and virus out and to keep a healthy barrier in protecting our body. It's our largest organ of the body. So if we are 
trying to infuse different uh, ingredients into the skin, we need some sort of a delivery mechanism. And that's really what we're doing in the first step is we're delivering the oxygen deeper into the skin and then creating it there. Same with peptides. The different chains of peptides, they need their own delivery system in order to penetrate into the skin properly. So at this particular step, we have now created oxygen. Denise is just lightly manipulating it into the skin. And the oxygen is really designed for a couple of different um, benefits to the skin. One is going to help to eliminate or kill the P. acne uh, bacteria population, which is a big contributor to, um, to acne. And it's also, again, gonna be a vasoconstrictor, so it's gonna help to reduce some of that visible redness. I love this treatment because I can pretty much treat anybody who comes into my treatment room with this. I like to say that this treatment should be in everyone's treatment room because it hits every cornerstone of your business. So you can treat clients with acne, sensitive skin, pigmentation, and since it stimulates collagen and elastin activity, it actually is also great for um, mature skin as well. I think that's such a great point because we always are talking about oxygen for acne, the vasoconstricting properties for rosacea, and sometimes we forget about our pigmented clients yes. and also for age management, but you do get that really nice kind of buttery consistency to the skin immediately after the treatment and that really nice glow. So who who wouldn't want that as their, as their first treatment? And then just the sensation of the oxygen. I think that if you're a first time facial clientele comes in and they receive this, it's a treatment that they're gonna to wanna to continue to get every single time they come in. Absolutely, they also feel the tensing and tightening effect from this as well, so that's also a really wonderful byproduct of the treatment. So we don't wanna allow the oxygen to sit on the skin for too long. We do realize that oxygen, especially if it goes unchecked, has the potential of creating what we refer to as reactive oxygen species which can be um, a free radical, an internal free radical that can create more um, damage to the skin. So that's why this treatment is so timed out. We wanna leave the oxygen portion on the skin for two minutes for your starter clientele. You do have the option of increasing that up to five minutes if necessary. But again, too much of a good thing is not always, is not always the great, <laughs> the best thing. So we wanna make sure that we're slowly introducing our clients to longer um, exposure to this oxygen. And then again, making sure that we're neutralizing out those oxygen molecules before they have the potential of creating any of that reactive oxygen species. Now with the neutralizer that you just sprayed on, it does have a very high pH to it. So this is basically a USP grade sodium bicarb with USP grade water. And that's going to increase the pH of the skin. So this is a very thought out multi-step treatment product or treatment system, if you will. So again, if we can go back to review the steps. First, we're putting magnesium peroxide with deionized water creating the perfect storm for oxygen to be produced. We're then um, activating the oxygen with the enzyme activator, which is that catalyst that it needs to split oxygen and water. We allow that to sit on the skin for anywhere between two to five minutes, really allowing for that P. acne bacteria elimination, as well as that vasoconstricting property. And then we neutralize it out with the neutralizer. And we're actually gonna do that twice, just to ensure that we've fully neutralized out all of the oxygen. Now, at what point, Caitlin, can you perform extractions if you choose to do so during this portion of the treatment? That's a great question. So there's two different options for extractions. I usually suggest to start after you've done whatever form of exfoliation that you've done prior to applying the oxygen. But extractions can be painful, um, especially if they're really sticky or really congested and that comedome is just really anchored into the skin. So do as many as you feel like you can without being too uncomfortable. And then once you've actually sprayed on the pH equalizer, that sodium bicarb is going to basically um, dissolve the anchor. So you can go in and really help to work out some of those extra extractions after you spray on the neutralizer. So now we're going to remove this mixture from the skin. You wanna make sure that you're taking a cool, damp towel for removal. 
It's important to not use a warm towel or a hot towel. We just spent all this time trying to have those nice vasoconstricting properties to reduce visible redness. So now we want to make sure that we're using a cool towel to make sure the skin is staying nice and cool versus heating it up with, the, uh, with a towel. Denise, do you have any pro tips on removing this? Sometimes it can get a little bit tricky and, and stick to the skin. I think the best thing to do is treat this like a high touch service. So if you notice I'm doing some manipulative massage over the towel, that can actually help to loosen up any of the product along the jawline and then as well as the hairline and plus it's really awesome for the client. That's a great tip. It's one of my favorites. So because we know that the pH equalizer is designed to neutralize out the oxygen, we also know that it has a relatively high pH. So the pH of the skin ranges anywhere between 4.5 to 5.5. So we wanna make sure that we can get the skin back down to its normal pH. So we're spraying on our citric spray, which is going to bring the skin back down to its, its regulated pH state. So the citric spray is going to be sprayed either directly onto the skin and then pat it in. You can also, because there's so many different spraying steps in this treatment, you can also just spray it into your hands and pat it into the skin at the same time. Or you can take a two by two gauze or a four by four, press it into the skin after you've um, dampened it on your four by four. So multiple options of application, just depending on, um, on your preferences. Are you usually a spray all three steps kind of a person? I'm a spray all three steps. I love the fun and the fancy fullness of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you know you get real full saturation when yes. you're doing it that Yes, and that way. way when I do the spray, I know that I'm hitting every single area that I've applied the product to so that I know it's completely covered. And then I can do more high touch and then adding a light pressure to the skin to kind of work that in.